guys, Long Haul Larry here with Big Blue. We're running west on 70. Not too far off from Columbus, not really sure. We just got done with our mandatory half an hour break. And we're just a rolling. And the storms are brewing. I saw these clouds coming in, I was like, gotta go, gotta go. It's all right. Get my windows washed a little bit. So what's going on today? Really not too much. Just making the miles and making the... Sorry about that, I got it. But we are just rolling along, doing okay. Uh, I was going through some of the comments. And I noticed two of them that I thought I should mention. Chris Barr, happy birthday. And also, Richard Lewis, happy birthday to you too. You guys should get together. Go have a party. And I'm sorry to say, Richard, you hit that big 5-0. Just like when John... Uh, Earlier this year, he had his birthday. I went over by him and stuff. One foot's in the grave now, buddy. Don't turn it back. question for you, Toy. Um, I got an email. It was kind of a strange email. And I kind of, I, I figured it out. It was from uh, Frankie the Cat. From my understanding, you have yourself a 15-pound cat. And he has is having a little bit of an anxiety problem. He described this into me. He said he's having an anxiety problem. He's a 15 pound cat. From what I understand, you like to, you can open the door, you guys leave the door wide open, and he said he's got a little bit of anxiety, he doesn't, he doesn't like to go outside. That's not normal for a cat. That's just, that's just not right. Usually you gotta, Show them to keep them in the in the house, not to try to get them out, and they don't want to go outside. So he's got a little bit of an anxiety problem, but he has self-diagnosed himself, and he thinks he knows how to remedy this. He has explained to me that barbecue is a very good incentive. So he came up with the idea of a ride-along. He says that if uh, he can, uh, we can meet up and, and I can uh, pick him up, he says that I will, he will definitely get over his anxiety and come with me for a ride. He says as long as when we're in Texas, we stop for some barbecue. So <clears throat> there's a special requisite form I would need to email you, so you need to email me with uh, with your email so I can forward that to you and we can then sign. It also says that I'm not personally held responsible if he comes back weighing 17 pounds. Just saying. So, Toy, shout out. But we are rolling along. It is 3.17 p.m. And we are just east of Columbus. I am trying to fire up an errand. And it is 71 degrees. All right, there you go. I don't need to fire them up. 
walking on 15 or 11 miles. 11 miles to the 270. That's where we'll be jumping off and heading up around Columbus, getting on to the 33 and heading up through the countryside. We got our 35,000 pounds of chicken back there. Doing good. Holding at 25 degrees. On its way to Reinhardt in Shawano, Wisconsin. Big Blue, you can do it. We got an issue up here. And it looks to me like my lane is closed. Want to get over? Okay, I think I can right now. I'm trying to see on air in here quick if I can. Yeah, I can get up. Ah. What people are doing is they're getting off. I just saw, I thought maybe there was a little road there. <clears throat> there is a road up there, but what everybody's doing is they're getting off here and they're getting right back on the on-ramp and then going up there, cutting everybody off. Um, I'm not gonna be that way. Come on there, Big Blue. Keep it in gear. We're moving and stuff. It's it's these guys going across, cutting everybody off. Looks to me like there it's both sides. Looks like we have a car down in the middle. <clears throat> See right there, that guy was, that he went past me. It's just called, you only think about yourself. That's what that is. Yeah, you may get around 10, 20 cars or something like that, but now that 10, 20 cars has got us slamming the brakes to let you in. So that's what this whole line, that's, these people are getting off and getting right back on. Whatever. Um, what else is going on here? Really, not too much. On the headlights, I've had some comments about the headlamps. Do you have your headlamps? Blah, blah, blah. Um, no, I do not. <clears throat> I do have two sets of headlamps in this truck. They're both LED. Um, I have a set that's supposed to be coming from that, um, 
the Mafia Chrome Shop in Joplin they're supposed to be getting me. I actually did talk to them on the phone today. And the guy that I spoke with and everything else, he wasn't there, but the other people said, um, no, we don't have them in yet. Got 10, 10 pairs on back order, blah, blah, blah. Looks like we got a pickup truck and an SUV. Got tangled together. The thing is, is the other side of the road looks worse. Ah, the backup looks even worse. And all there is is just an ambulance parked over there on the grass. It's not even on his shoulder. So that's just all for people just, what's going on? What's going on? Ooh, look at that. So I, I uh, back to headlights. We do not have the headlights from the from the boss, the HIDs. He is, I think he's on vacation, actually, to tell you the truth. I don't really know for sure. I didn't talk to him or nothing. I kind of never talked to him. Um, but I think John mentions, asked him or something. I don't know. But John thinks that he's in Vegas or something. I don't know. So I think he's on vacation. And when I got, when I was coming in the yard, he, I sent him a message and said, hey, you got my headlamps. And he said, I'm not at home. That's, that's the message I got. So I guess I'll be getting those next weekend. Um, I do have the two sets of LEDs in the truck with me right now, but I do not want to open them. <coughs> Man, I got something stuck in there. Um, I don't want to open the boxes. And I've also ordered another set off of eBay. I'm hoping at the Chrome Shop at Joplin gets me that set. So that'll give me four sets of LEDs, and then he's gonna give me the HIDs. And then I'm also working on new headlight assemblies for this truck, because the Kenworth, they have what's called a, uh, uh, what do they call that, uh, a projection. They have projection headlights, it's like a little, it's almost like a little magnifying lens or something like that, and the light bulb is in there and it's supposed to project the light. I have actually heard rumors online, um, plus me and John have talked about it, he's heard about it too, that LED and HID head headlamp kits do not work in these proje projection um, headlight assemblies. They don't work very good. So, I've been trying to find all new headlight assemblies that do not have that production, that prediction, whatever, you know, that doesn't have that in it, and I can't find any anywhere. I have called all over the place, I've talked to the Mafia Chrome Shop, and they, based, and they said, they don't make, nobody makes them. They said, uh, for that T680, there's nothing. They said a T660, T600, yeah, we can do that. T680, nope. So, I'm actually, I have looked at mine. I believe I can get that whole deal out of there. There's like these little special screw head things in there. I believe that if you take those three screws out, that whole assembly will come right out of the headlight assembly. And then I'm thinking about <clears throat> making up something that will go inside there to hold a H11 bulb. And then it would be a non-projection non bulb. If that made any sense. It doesn't seem to make sense in my head right now. I don't know why. But the thing is, is I want to do all these things and then I want to make a comparison video and I want everything brand new. I don't want to be using something for a week and then I, I do the test and then somebody goes, well, that's because that's used. I want everything brand new in the box and do the test and we're going to find out for sure which bulb is better? Because there's been lots of discussion about, I think HID is better, I think uh, LED is better. What kind of LED bulb? I don't know, I just think LED is better. So, <laughs> there's just lots of different discussion going on. 
So I'm going to do a whole comparison test and I'm going to spend a cash on it and we're going to find out which one works because I'm interested in it and John is interested in it because he wants to get some bulbs too. He wants some, yeah, he wants better bulbs too. And I think there will be a lot of people that will be interested in finding out the results. The set of bulbs that I got off of eBay, they were $7.99. So, we'll see sets that range from $7.99 all the way up to $200. We'll see what the difference is. So, there you go. That'll be coming up. I really need to get over. I didn't want to come over here. This guy's got his finger on his turn signal. So he wants over here. So, see? Told ya. I told ya. And this guy's giving signals out of his sunroof in his car. I don't know what that meant, but he moved over my lane with no signals. So maybe that was his, I want to come to the center lane signal. I'm not sure. Somebody said once, you're like a mind reader with the cars. <laughs> you do this long enough, you can watch people and see their motion and what they do in their car. You can see kind of what their actions are and you can tell what they're going to do. That guy there, I don't know. I don't know what that meant. I, I don't know. <clears throat> oh, here comes the chubby car. I want in here. Can I come in here? Now I'm going to hit the brakes. There you go. Now you're in there. We actually have six hours left to drive. And I did that little uh, comparison of the two routes. And when I went this way, it took me five hours and 48 minutes to get to 65. Um, from here, riding these roads. Was it four hours for David? I don't remember. I have it right now. It's almost. I don't think it was four hours. <clears throat> so we'll see how far we get during, because that was at nighttime. So we'll see how far we get during the day. A little more traffic during the day to deal with. Uh, what other things going on, going on, going on, going on? Um, I've had people ask me about, you guys ever had that? Truck drivers you wear these headsets. I hate wearing them for a long period of time. One thing I can't hear very good when I talk to people and stuff. And the other thing is, put them on there, it makes your ear like feel weird. So every time I take them off, I'm like, ah. <laughs> get my ear back open. Um, what kind of headset do I use? I use a Blue Parrot. It is a VXI. Um, I've always used Blue Parrot. I've had real good luck with them, and um, so that's what I use, and I had one, it's like their cheapest model, I think it's like a BT-50 or something, I can't remember what it was, it's something like that, and I had that one for years, I mean like six years, I bet you, and it went out, I want to say like a year and a half ago somewhere on here. Some, somewhere around there. And I went out, and I think it was right around room. It was either when I started JB Hunt or it was right at six months or so after that. So it's some, somewhere around there. Don't matter. But I uh, went out about then and I went in and I bought a new one. I was looking at the new ones. And they had the same one I had. It has the smaller round deal on the ear. And 
I looked at it, I saw this one here, and I thought, you know, you probably can hear better with this one because it really closes around your ear. It's kind of like um, hexagon or something. It's kind of bigger. And so I bought that one, and I think it was like $129. It's okay. I, I think it just puts more pressure on your head. It kind of squeezes your head a little bit. So, I don't know. But it works good. Oh, statewide amber alert. A Toyota Corolla, blue in color. Amber, you're not a Toyota Corolla. You're not a Toyota Corolla. Well, there's an amber alert in Ohio. A 2003 Toyota Corolla. Blue in color. License 0187330. Oh, it's a dealer plate. <clears throat> so, there you go. Now I'm on the lookout. So, we are just heading north. West and North. And we got out of storms, got away from that accident, just rolling the miles. So we shall let you guys go. Who's we? It's me and Big Blue. I hope that everyone's having themselves a great day. A great night. Whatever it is for you when you're watching this here video. And if you are not, you certainly could change that. Just try to get tomorrow. So I'll catch you later. See ya.